Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest series, Reality Z. There is worse. Reality Z was released on Netflix June the 10th. It is a Brazilian show originally in Portuguese, but of course you do have your audio options that does come in English. Now, y'all know how I feel about these English voiceover audio. Um, if you guys are new, I'm really not fond of it. Um, now, if you have been with me for a while and y'all know that I don't like scary things and I will refuse to watch anything scary, not even like freaking trailers because I'm like a big ass chicken, but zombies are the exception um, going into the show i kind of thought it was gonna be something a little bit different since it is called reality z so obviously i knew it was gonna be like a reality type show but honestly i just assumed from what i got from it was that somehow zombies were gonna be i honestly thought that it was gonna be like an actual show about like zombies and maybe they were gonna put in a couple like humans in there to try to fend for themselves and fight the the fittest kind of deal they are doing a reality show it's kind of like big brother in a way I they don't know what the heck is going on in the outside world when everything pretty much goes to shit this is a spoiler review by the way spoiler review it's a big popular reality show so everybody knows where they're at so i'm assuming that these zombies are almost kind of like the dead don't die in a way i don't know if you remember that movie from last year i actually really like that movie where like a part of their humanity is still there and they kind of you know in the dead don't die they're doing and resembling things that they did while they were alive well it seems to me that these zombies they knew of this place and they all wanted to go to this reality continue to go to the reality show because like all of them that seems to be where they were being drawn to there's 10 episodes okay they're less than 30 minutes long is literally an easy binge i don't even know why i continue to watch it i think after the second i honestly after the first episode i was like what the heck did i just watch this show honestly kind of brought me back to sharknado like why am I watching you? You're so terrible. But yet, here I am. You kind of got me intrigued. And I want to know how this freaking story ends. Because I have watched Sharknado. All the damn Sharknados. And every time I finish watching them, I'm just like, what did I just watch? But I'm not going to lie, you guys. Sharknado is kind of like a guilty pleasure. As much as I hate to admit it. Now, in this series you guys um like i said earlier i think i said it earlier it is very fast paced and you really don't get attached to any of the characters i don't really feel like you get much character development through each of them honestly no need to get attached to any of them because they all freaking die and when i thought that the show was going to be ending it's like oh you're continuing and we keep bringing in more people for them to then die so the People that you assume was is going to end up at the end. It's like, oh no, they're they're dead. By I don't even know, like the sixth, seventh episode. It's like, okay, what? I don't know if they would do a season two. I mean, there's a possibility just because of the phone that has like all the instructions, and it's like you find this here it is. You know, see if anybody's to go to Olympus. I mean, they're gonna have a lot of fighting because it's literally overrun by all these zombies um now the zombies uh, these mother are fucking fast so these are not the type of zombies that you would want to really be interacting with because they will chase you honestly you guys the decisions that some of these characters make throughout the series i'm just like are you freaking kidding me like you would be out because it's just like why would you do this like the mom when she's like, oh, she's different. And like tries to go and like grab the hand of the freaking zombie. And then what happens? You get bit. You get bit. Mind you, you do your part to try to like make everything work and uh, function properly. And let, you know, your instructions. Because she's the one that knows the ins and outs of the uh, facility. Because she's the one that helped uh, construct it and, and uh, design it and everything. But I'm just like why would you do that like no you kill the funny zombie mm. and then oh my god there's like a freaking like cokehead cop 
I just can't with him. Like, somebody should have killed him a long time ago. There's a freaking, like, signature with, like, his right-hand man, who she's, like, a little bit of a cold kick, but not really, but, you know. Uh, so her and the cop obviously have a thing going on. The things also that a lot of you may hear about it is the disgusting uh, producer. I mean, you guys, if you gotta go, you gotta go. He took a shit in the garbage can. I mean, it was pretty, like, graphic, right? And plus, you got stuck with a little preppy... Uh, dumbass little. I don't blame him because if I was in that same situation with the zombie like right outside the the door and it's trying to come in and eat you do you really think I'm gonna risk my life to be trying to go out that damn I mean no so yes I will take a shit in the garbage can as well and I would be like look away but I just kept wondering what the hell did you wipe your ass with Leo was in a relationship with Jessica well maybe they were just sleeping together but then like Nina comes around she knew everybody because she was you know, part of the uh, PA assistant, tech, whatever the hell she was. And she thought she was going to survive the whole damn thing. And she immediately kind of ended up forming this relationship with Leo. And they had like this connection. It's like you literally just met. But I mean, I get it. You technically knew him. But there was like this whole like relationship that to me was just like, why? You want to shut your brain off? And if you really like zombie movies and if you like reality shows then this may be the show for you if you want like a hardcore zombie show this is not for you um and it is really really cheesy and i actually laughed in certain parts like when the producer when he gets attacked and he has like all these zombies that he's like screaming for his life then next you know he's like telling the zombie that's right here talking about chew 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 right and then he's all like oh my intestines my intestines and i'm like dude can you fucking die already like, i mean overall i didn't absolutely hate the show because it is very cheesy which is stuff that i kind of do like um like sharknado would i rewatch it no um if there was a season two would i watch it i don't know i'm not even gonna lie to you if i don't have anything else to watch maybe maybe i would so yeah, this is all that I'm going to say about Netflix's um, Reality Z. If you happen to have watched the show, what did you guys think about it? Let me know down below. Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!